YouTube is it going? The Goat House is back with the final episode of the NFL Top 100 created by you guys, the fans. You guys created ballots and we created a Top 100 here. We are on to the top 10 players going from 10 to 1. Uh, who's remaining? We have a few quarterbacks, Mahomes, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. We have Christian McCaffrey out there. I know we have a couple of receivers, Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, uh, Miles, Miles Garrett still left, Chris Jones, Sauce Gardner. So I think those are the 10. We'll see what order they come off the board according to you guys. Playlist on the channel if you want to see all the other rankings from this series. Major shout out to these guys down here. Cam Sullivan set this all up, created all the graphics. This wasn't possible without him. Uh, so major shout out there. Uh, but let's go on to it. Uh, number 10 is the reigning MVP, Lamar Jackson. Somebody ranked him as high as number two. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, he's a tough one to rank, too, because if you think quarterbacks, like maybe there's some other quarterbacks that are better, but Lamar Jackson at times look like, looks like the most dominant, like the toughest to deal with, toughest to stop. Uh, but So I'm sure that the rankings were a little different. There's some people that are like pro Lamar Jackson, they you know, probably rank around two, and there's some people that are like, yeah, maybe he's more of a system guy. He's a big time runner, so that's why he wins MVPs. Um, so maybe they rank him like around the 20 range. So uh, he ends up at number 10. Number nine, another quarterback, Josh Allen. Somebody ranked him number one. So somebody believes he is the best player in football. And he definitely had a strong case for MVP last year because of the uh, the number of touchdowns he was responsible for, I suppose, and the dual threat that he is, the big time player that he is. Um, just kind of turning the Bills season around and getting them uh, winning that division in the playoffs uh, while they were extremely beat up. But he comes at number nine, uh, just perfect world, cut down on the turnovers, cut down on the interceptions, and he can be in that top three conversation. But he is number nine. Uh, number eight is Sauce Gardner. So a corner gets the high, uh, a high rank of number eight. Your highest rank is seven. So I'm thinking – Everyone ranked him kind of around that range. Highest ranked seven, but he ends up just right there at number eight. Um, I'm just surprised he's a little, you know, this high. Uh, not that he's too high, not that he's not deserving, but I was a little surprised that this is where you guys put him, um, you know, and guys like Micah Parsons sitting out there outside the top ten and uh, a couple other big-time pass rushers and, and big-time players and receivers. Um, but Sauce Gardner, you know, only going to get better for here from here. So excited to see, you know, could he put a defensive player of the year type performance on this year? Uh, Chris Jones comes in at number seven. Somebody ranked him as high as two. Yeah, I thought two seasons ago he was the very best, in my opinion, was the very best defensive player in football. And, um, and he played fairly close last year. Just a complete disruptor. Uh, I mean, taking on double and triple teams like crazy. And just, you see these Super Bowls, seeing these big games, like he – make such a big play when they need him most. Just, just even if it's not a sack or even if you know, it doesn't show up, like just, just him collapsing the prop pocket or getting pressure, uh, just such an impact player for the Chiefs. So, uh, And now he's kind of that guy to pass in terms of defensive tackles because Aaron Donald has, retire, has retired. Uh, so he's number seven, highest ranked two. Number six, T.J. Watt, you know, one of the better defensive players of football, very, very consistent, big-time playmaker, um, you know, insane sack totals he comes in at number six and it was a pretty good debate how you split up these edge rushers he is the second highest one on this list according to you guys but somebody did rank him up at two but he comes in at number six the second highest rated pass rusher we are on the top five Tyree Kill comes in at number five somebody ranked him number one he does come in in five he's the second highest rated receiver on this list according to you guys but yeah just a different type of talent just a guy that went when when he makes a play, it's it's it hits you. It's like no one can do that. He is that unstoppable. He is that dominant. You can't coach those things. It's just it's just a wow moments when it comes to Tyree Kill. Um, you know, so that I can understand somebody ranking him at one because he's unlike the rest. There's no one that really could replicate what he has. People are always like, "Oh, who's this guy? Could be the next Tyree Kill?" Like, no, no one's Tyree Kill. You know, so I can understand somebody ranking him that high. Uh, perfect world, yeah, could. He had some moments last year and big moments and big games where maybe he slipped. The only times he slipped up happened to be those times. So if he cleans that up, then we're talking maybe even better than number five. Uh, number four is the reigning defensive player of the year and the highest ranked edge rusher on this list. Miles Garrett, who another guy feels like it's scary to think, but it feels like he's only getting better. Very good run stopper, but an extremely good pass rusher. You know, freak strength, freak athlete. So it feels like he's kind of just getting going. So somebody ranked him at number one. 
He comes in at number four. We are on to the top three players. We are on to the top three. They are all offensive players. Uh, you probably figure out who they who they are, but we got a running back at number three, Christian McCaffrey. Somebody ranked him as high as one. But, uh, yeah, for a running back in today's game to make this much of an impact says something. You know, running back position, the guys that just take a beating nonstop, deliver beatings as well. And for him to kind of be healthy, you know, he's healthier than he's ever been too uh, and just be getting better and being this dominant in both the run and the pass game. It says something. I mean, it, it, it's something here. So deserving of a top three ranking, um, the combination of everything you can ask from a running back in today's NFL, in today's era. Uh, yeah, there's times where you watch him. It's like, oh, my God, like this is this is the guy of the Niners. How good this roster is. This is the guy. This is what makes or breaks the Niners. This, you know, this is a special, special talent. Uh, and he got paid. He basically got paid receiver money, and he's deserving because he's not just he's not just your typical running back, right? He is a running back more than a receiver, so I'm not trying to say he's a receiver, but uh, just just the he's just on. No one else is like him, you know, not even close right now. So number three, and then number two, a receiver, Justin Jefferson. Somebody ranked him as high as one, so I'd imagine he was pretty cons- he was pretty consistently ranked. Two, probably. I think a lot. most people in the world probably go Patrick Mahomes, Justin Jefferson, if not. And there's some people that ranks some of the other guys pretty high. But it seems like that's pretty common. I know the NFL Top 100 just revealed Jefferson at his number 18. Um, but I think those lists are based off the previous year. And he was injured last year and still missed a handful of games and still got over 1,000 yards and still made some of those catches, some of those big-time plays in crucial moments, third, fourth down, and in big games without Kirk Cousins out there. Um just making plays that no one else really can make and, and creates more separation than anyone can create. And it's all about separation when it comes to receivers. Everyone's trying to find instead of the, the hands guys or the big body, the, you know, the straight speed, they're trying to find the separators because Justin Jefferson is that poster child of, of that trait when it comes to receivers, which is a valuable position that's really becoming more valuable now. Um, and he leads the way. So uh, comes in at number two in an obvious surprise, Patrick Mahomes, who is no question, no doubt, the best player in all of football, the best winner, the best playmaker, the best passer, uh, you know, the, the best every, the best improviser, the best everything. Um, you know, and the, I think the offense, people say the other offensive line of the Chiefs is very good. I think Pat, your quarterback always needs some credit. When it comes to the offensive line, you know, uh, you know, changing things at the line, just under, understanding defenses. So it's a guy that really under, you know, learns the game as a student of the game and has learned so much as well when breaking down film and uh, it translating to the NFL. So it kind of deserves or to game day, I should say. So kind of deserves some more credit just than his raw natural talent, which is absurd. We never see anything like it in the history of the league. But yeah, not a surprise here. I'd imagine. Almost everyone had him at one. We saw some other guys being ranked as high as one, but pretty much everyone having him at one resulted in him being number one. So there you have it. There's the top 10, but we have a playlist with all the rankings in the top 100. This was created by most of you guys. You guys created ballots. Um, So this was a lot of fun just to get a different perspective and kind of compare this to the actual top 100, which is kind of a year-to-year thing based on some players voting. Um, So I always like the fans' takes. Something we could do every year. But major, major shout out again to Cameron Sullivan. He kind of, you know, uh, we were talking about on Twitter, thought of this idea. We got to do it. He created the ballot and then the answer not helped him as well and uh, created all 100 of these graphics, which is absurd. It saved me a lot of time, but made this video possible because we're running out of time. The season's right around the corner and there's a lot of important things I want to get to as well that we're working on. So um, appreciate Sol- Cam Sullivan. Appreciate all you guys for supporting us i cannot wait for the in-season content it's it's my favorite it's just so much fun so hope you guys join us for that make sure to like subscribe to your notifications on because we're getting that time of year with the important content so uh, important links pinned in the comments check it out but that is gonna do it for this one thanks for watching goodbye